For this week's Speak Out, we take a look at a recent opinion piece about assisted suicide in the New York Times. The New York Times writer Sarah Lyle recently wrote an op-ed titled, The Last Thing Mom Asked. Her first line reads, I am about to kill my mother. Lyle explains her 82-year-old mother is suffering with stage 4 lung cancer and wants to die. In fact, she wants her daughter to kill her through assisted suicide. Lyle writes, as it happens, I have a big dose of morphine right here in the house. I also have some hefty doses of codeine, Ambien, Haldol, and Ativan that I've cunningly stockpiled from the hospice service, like a squirrel hoarding for winter. Lyle writes about her internal struggle and the guilt she faced as she watched her mother suffer with cancer and strategized her assisted suicide technique. This article was absolutely heartbreaking to read as it gives us a glimpse into the suffering at the end of life. My heart goes out to writer Sarah Lyle and her family. Though this op-ed tries to make the case for assisted suicide, it ends up making the case against it. Here's why. For one, Lyle admits she's stockpiling drugs to kill her mother, enough to, quote, kill her and several passersby, she writes. This is an argument against the legalization of assisted suicide. Homes would house dangerous drugs that anyone could take, and it's possible they could be forced onto someone ill against their will. Another detail is you can grasp the writer's mental anguish of carrying out assisted suicide. She is racked with guilt, and there's a reason why. A child should never have to decide when to kill their parents. The very fact there's a struggle to commit assisted suicide speaks to its inherently wrong nature. Especially this week, as we mark World Suicide Prevention Day, let us as Catholics speak up for the dignity of each life, even life amidst suffering.